Well, this is exciting. This is my daughter's and her boyfriend's gorgeous new flat. So we've literally had the keys today and it is honestly, there's just not much. All the walls have been painted, the ceilings have been painted. There's me thinking I was going to be painting all weekend. I haven't got to even do that. Two bedrooms, first floor. It's lovely. So currently we've got Jeff in the living room talking floors and what, what sort of things they're going to be doing carpets, they're going to do it in laminate. So I'm going to turn you around because the light is better here. But how amazing is that? So it means a new chapter for them, obviously a new house, I mean a flat, but it doesn't matter, it's house, flat, whatever. So it just means that she's got the keys and they can move in before the baby is born, which is a big thing because obviously that's happening in June. It is Saturday, it is the weekend. We had some exciting news on Thursday or Wednesday, I'm not sure what day, but my daughter has got the keys to her new flat. We went there yesterday to scope things and have a little look around, see what she needs. So we're on our way now to a lovely um, sort of recycling centre, it's called Too Good To Waste, it's quite local to us. And hopefully we can find the last bits of what she needs because she's been really lucky so far. And people have been really generous, haven't they? People have been so generous. So. We're gonna have a little look there, we're gonna have a look see what they've got and I'm gonna bring you along for the ride. Just driving through the valleys and commenting how lovely the mountains are. Look at those gorgeous views. We are lucky where we live. If you're lucky enough to have something like this close by, it's well worth popping in because you might find yourself a real bargain. We didn't find anything here. However, my daughter went back a couple of days later and picked up a lovely carpet which did her bedroom for £50. Brand spanking new, brilliant quality, absolute bargain. Well, we've ended up in a builder's merchants because we've come to get some flooring. However, it is closing at four o'clock, so we've got to be fast. Didn't have anything in the too good to waste, but she has messaged somebody about a fridge and we bought a cooker. Found it. Mm. Here we are, look. All the different colours. Yes, the good thing about my daughter is she is my daughter and she's Jeff's daughter because we are bargain hunters. She's not fussy about what she wants. She just wants basic, the cheapest. So that's what we're looking for. Nice colour as well, Meg. That's the one. That's, bargain. I've been loading all that in there. That's what my husband's been doing. Oh, happy days. Well, that's two good jobs done today. Two things ticked off the list. So now tomorrow we need to get the rest of the flooring because we didn't get it all. And now I think we're going to try and convince Jeff to go to Costco. Convince him to go to Costco and use my lovely jacket potato with tuna. Early on a Sunday morning, we're back to get the rest of the floor in, and then Jeff is going to spend the day installing it. Well, we are back from getting the floor in. We've done a little bit of cleaning in the house, cleaned up the fridge that we picked up this morning. Now we've got some lunch, headed to Marks and Spencer's, which is right here, and her house is right there. So it's a very good location within very quick walking distance and we're gonna have we didn't get we're gonna get a meal deal but it would be very expensive for four of us we just picked up some little picky bits to eat and that's gonna be our dinner today good morning it is Friday and I thought because I keep not recording when I'm at work I thought it'd be a, a good opportunity to put my camera on and just have a little potter around which is what I do before work and then we can have a little chat because I have lots of things to chat about. So, okay, first things first. I am going to be doing a whole separate video because this deserves a whole video. Now, if you've been here a while, many of you may remember that my niece a few years ago, three to be exact this week, had open heart surgery. She, it was detected when she was, when my sister-in-law was pregnant with her, that she had um, a congenital heart disease called tetralogy of fallow. 
So they knew when they were carrying her that she would then need the surgery. And it went really well. It went absolutely as well as it could have swimmingly. She is doing, she's thriving. So she's three now, she was three in October. It's three years since she had her surgery this week. So she was five months old when that happened. And I'm saying I'm pottering about, I literally have come to a standstill. So I'm just gonna tell you this first. And about two years ago, my brother, who they've actually, as a family, encountered lots of things to challenge them, shall we say. So my nephew was, um, when he was, eight years old or seven years old, d diagnosed with leukemia. So they had um, obviously all the, the things that go with that, but then what he wanted to do was to do something to say thank you to the air ambulance who obviously helped to take him to the hospital when he was very poorly. So for that, they did a walk. He was thinking along the same lines and that's what they would do with Pixie is my niece's name for Pixie. So to say thank you to Ronald McDonald House in Bristol. So they thought they would do a walk because of where it is from Wales. There's no safe route. So he sort of started planning it and things like that and realised that actually there's not a great walking route. So they were sitting down throwing ideas around and said to Pixie, what do you want to do? And she said, ride my bike. At this point, she didn't even have a bike. So they were like, right, okay, that's a really good idea. So what they decided to do, she was born in Singleton Hospital in Swansea. She had the operation in Bristol. The distance between the two is 82 miles. And I mean, again, when she was born, it was COVID times. He wasn't even allowed in there for after the birth. It was like an hour and it was just awful, especially obviously with the condition that she had. So he decided or they decided not him they decided they were going to do this with her the 82 miles and it's gone absolutely bonkers so it was picked up by a local newspaper and the article was posted in there she then received a donation from there's like a, um, a strong girls club i think it's called the heart um i think they donate or they make t-shirts that then run alongside the charity possibly I'll have to find more information I'll, I'll put it down here when I know more I should have really looked into it before but this is like an off the cuff video so I, I didn't really think about it anyway so they picked it up or they the newspaper picked it up the company that does the t-shirts then donated a big amount my nephew had um a friend that he was in school with who is now doing really well living in Andorra, an Olympic hopeful cyclist. His mother then went to my brother's house, dropped off a little jersey with a water bottle, just to say, you know, well done, you're doing amazing. I'll see if I can put some pictures here actually, because she is doing phenomenal. So this little three-year-old that is cycling 82 miles is trying to raise money for the charity that looked after her parents while she was in hospital. They do brilliant things. While my brother was staying there, he did sort of things ad hoc things around the garden like some gardening and fence repairing things like that or job things um, and they were very appreciative of that but obviously they rely on funding i'm going to pop the link in the description if anybody is in a position to donate anything at all they would very much appreciate it and i just i wanted to share it because i think it deserves like i said i'm going to actually do a full video on this because she deserves her own video anyway apart from that Things here are going very well. Um, I've just been doing, I've been obviously working this week. So as you know, I did explain the other day, I've got a holiday coming up and I'm trying to get back into the healthier eating thing. Not going well at the moment. Well, it is going well in the sense that I've been doing okay, but I was gonna do some little snacky bits like my soft bakes and chop some carrots and things. I got hardly any food in the house, except I did go down a bit of a rabbit hole on TikTok this morning. This has got nothing to do with food. However, I did hear from my friend the other day that you can buy like wonky fruit and veg off TikTok. So I might need to look at that. I rarely go on TikTok. I went on there this morning. I saw that there was these 90 toilet rolls reduced. I put them in my basket the other day. They were £17. And then when I went on there today, they were down to £8.99. So I've ordered my very first thing off TikTok. 
I let you know how that goes. But it looks, I mean, they look, if they can, they look really good. I don't know anybody that has had an issue with ordering from TikTok, so we'll see how it goes. But $8.99 for 90 toilet rolls, three ply, scented. I'm going to keep you updated with that one. Um, apart from that, there's not really much else going on with me, except, um, can you hear how quiet my house is? It's going to be like this from next week pretty much all the time so my daughter is moving out we knew that was going to happen she's got a baby on the way they've got their own um flat as of well they've had it a couple of weeks but they've been doing bits to it putting the floor in that kind of thing is lovely i think on monday the broadband gets installed which means that because her boyfriend works from home they can then move in fully jack is going on holidays next week although i have got a visitor I've got a visitor in the form of my friend's dog. Now, she's going away for a couple of days. I've got the dog here, and it probably is quite good that it's quieter in my house when she's here because she is blind. She's getting old. She's 14, nearly. <gasps> Crazy. Her and Izzy are the same age. Um, so I've got her coming to stay for a couple of days. She has gone viral on TikTok this... See, it's all over TikTok this week. She's gone viral on TikTok this week. Now, a couple of years ago, she posted about, not pigeons, seagulls in Tesco's car park. Two million views. This week, she's posted about the dog. She's gone up to like a hundred and something thousand, I think at the last count, it's about 146,000. People, to, I'm gonna link that below as well. I'm linking everything below this week, today. So I've got her coming to stay. I've got a little, I've got a little star coming to stay with me next week. Um, other than that, did I go off on a tangent then? Because I do tend to do that. I was talking about my healthy eating and the last going, but I had a message yesterday. I don't know how this is going to pan out, but the message, hang on, those plates were lower down. The message I had was off my lovely friend, oh, wrong one, hang on a second, so I bash my cupboards and make a mess and ruin my kitchen. Off my friend on Instagram and she initially messaged me because she found me through i say my friend i know we've never met but i am the type of person where when i start talking to people i just consider them all as my friends it's like everybody that comments on my videos when you've got a community like this and you message people daily or weekly you just come to think of them as friends am i being weird sorry if i am but that's just me so i had a message off her she actually, as I was saying, found me through my Philippines videos, lives in the UK and is going to the Philippines next week. But we've been in contact and she messages regularly. She messaged me yesterday and said, well, actually it was Monday, but I didn't check my Instagram messages because I'm rubbish. And she said, how about doing like, because I'm going down the sort of healthy walking because I'm working from home. How about doing like a live? I've never done anything like that before. I don't know how it would work. But I'm up for that. Let me know in the comments below if you would want to be a part of like a little, she said, walking group. Now, I don't know how it would work out. I've not really thought about it properly yet. But I feel like that would, that would give me a bit of motivation. And if I'm going to motivate others, because I've seen a few comments saying, I'm so glad you're back on it this week. It's going to motivate me to get back on it. And no pressure, Beck except that's a lot of pressure <laughs> it's not but i'm i'll show you in fact i'll pop here the meals i've had i've been on it as in healthy eating balanced eating doing that kind of thing and loving it so i'm going to finish putting these dishes away because it's quite clear to see that while i'm recording and talking i'm not actually getting the job done so i'll pop back to you in a sec okay so i'm sitting down i'm at my desk but i was just thinking about things as i was over there and what I want to explain is that while I am hang on a second while I am trying to eat healthier and do some kind of balanced eating what I don't want to explain is that I don't want to get it consumed by the whole diet culture or calorie thing I'm, I'm trying to sort of steer away from that and not for any reason because it was messing with my head or anything like that just because I really feel like if I want to try and do something that is sustainable 
I don't want to do something that I have to carry on with in the sense that that's not really making sense. But what I'm trying to say is I just want to find a way where I can eat healthy, be healthy, uh, because I'm never, let's face it, I'm never going to be a size 10 and I don't want to get to that stage. I mean, if I could, then yeah, brilliant. But I'm, I've resigned myself to the fact that I think my ideal kind of weight is around about sort of the 14, 14 and a half stone mark. And if I can get there, then I want to get there. So I want to do that in a way that I can keep up with, that I'm not putting too much pressure on myself. And this week has gone swimmingly, it really has. I've had little treats here and there. I'm not stopping myself from having anything. And let me tell you what I found has been amazing. Distractions, doing some cleaning, um, going for a walk, putting a little exercise video on YouTube on. Amazing, it makes so much difference. Hang on. I didn't go back to my video because work got really crazy. What I was saying is, what I have found that works so well, distraction keeping busy, which I know is not always possible, but what I've been finding is just, and especially since there's just me and Jeff here at the moment now, so Jack is away on his holidays, Megan has moved out, so it is just the two of us here, keeping myself busy has stopped me going to the cupboards. However, what I have been finding is that the snacks are still creeping in, and I'm not saying I want to restrict, restrict myself completely, but I don't want it to become a habit, which is obviously what's happened and why I've gained the weight that I've gained. So I'm just going to try and do the whole distraction, balanced eating, see how I get on. I really don't want to be in a position where I'm spending a lot of money on products through different clubs like Slimming World and the Calorie Counting app, even though that's not very expensive. I don't want to have to keep inputting details and I feel like that I just want a healthy relationship with food is what I'm trying to say basically that is the the what you call it the bottom line so I'm gonna see how I get on see how I do and I'm just hoping that that's a place that I can get to and I'm sure that's what everyone strives to not everyone I shall rephrase that. I'm sure that that's what everyone that's had a poor relationship with food, hence the reason we're in the positions that we're in. So not everybody is in a position like this. Lots of people are able to just manage it because they haven't got, it's kind of an addiction, I guess, isn't it? I'm not going to go to, I'm not getting that deep. I'm going to end it here because it's been a while and I'm just now into the right, I feel, the right mindset. And I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. It is Monday and I'm gonna try and get this video up. I'm still, I said the other video I did, I'm editing my air fryer video, I'm still editing my air fryer video because I've been doing different little recipes that goes alongside it. So even though I'm not putting them in the same video, I will eventually. Oh, I tell you what, I've, I've literally gone off on a tangent. I've recorded my cleaning my hoover when all the things that I've been meaning to do over the last four years, I've been getting them done. So just prepare yourselves. Hopefully you'll enjoy them. But have a brilliant week and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching if you did get this far.